it's Ingrid and today I am going to be showing you how to make salmon stuffed avocados. Now this recipe is actually inspired by Lemonade, which is one of my favorite places to eat at in LA and they have salmon stuffed avocados that I get all the time there and I started getting them a little too much to the point where I was like, maybe I should try and figure out how to make this at home. So I'm gonna show you how you can make this really, really easy lunch that's also healthy too. For this recipe, you will need some grilled salmon and I've just flaked it up so we have nice little bits here. I have some freshly chopped onion, some fresh dill, a whipped garlic spread, a lemon, and some avocados. All right, let's start putting this together, shall we? We shall. Anyway, so this is grilled salmon that is left over from last night's dinner. And this is a great way to use up salmon because when I cook salmon, I usually cook a lot of it so I have leftovers like this. And this way you don't have to reheat your fish, you just kind of break it apart. So then I have an onion that's been chopped. This is about a quarter of an onion but you don't have to be exact. If you're not a huge fan of onions, you can leave this out all together, or you can put in less. If you love onion, you can put in more. So I'm gonna put in about that much, give it a little mix. And then I have this garlic spread, which is so, so yummy. And it's basically just pure garlic that has been whipped with a little bit of oil, lemon juice, and salt. So you can easily make this yourself at home by getting a bunch of garlic, throwing it in a blender with those ingredients, and you will get a whipped consistency like this, and it's amazing. You can use this on sandwiches, you can dip veggies in it. So as you mix this, you just wanna make sure that everything is well incorporated. It's moist, but not mushy. And then I'm just gonna grab a little handful of the fresh dill and add that in. I am a huge fan of dill just in general. I always say this and my friends think I'm crazy, but I would honestly wear a dill perfume if it existed. I would roll around in a field of dill and just be the happiest person on the planet because I love the smell and I love how it tastes. I think this adds a really beautiful color to the dish and it also adds that really nice dill flavor, which pairs wonderfully with salmon. So now I am going to add in some lemon juice. And I like to give the lemon a little roll and you wanna add some pressure so it really gets the juices flowing. I'm just gonna give this a slice. I like to hold my hand under the lemon before I squeeze it so that way seeds don't accidentally end up in the food and it kind of acts as a strainer. And I just put a little bit of lemon juice in it adds a nice fresh flavor to the into Woo! Lemon! Lemon down. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that in there. But the lemon adds a really nice fresh flavor to the mixture. We can set this guy aside, and now it's time for Mr. Avocado. So what I like to do with avocados is I cut all the way around, and you can feel the pit on the inside, so you kinda just wanna trace around that. Then you give it a twist, and you should be left with something that looks like this. Now, not gonna lie, I'm always a little bit afraid to remove the pit because you never know what it's gonna be like. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult, but you just stick your knife in normally. And this one, this one wants to be difficult. Give it a twist and it'll pop out like that. Then you're left with a nice little compartment where you can scoop in your salmon. Now it's time to scoop the salmon into the avocado, which means we are almost finished and you're that much closer to eating lunch. So you basically just spoon on as much as you want right into the center of the avocado. I personally like a lot, so I'm gonna pile it up like that. And this is a great thing that you can share because you have two halves of the avocado and it is actually pretty filling with the avocado when you eat the entire half and the salmon on top of that. So this is a great lunch that you can share with people. And I think this is an awesome way to have something healthy for lunch. It's fresh, 
it tastes good, and it doesn't take a ton of time to prepare. Now at Lemonade, they have a little bit of fresh grapefruit on the top of their salmon stuffed avocados, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of grapefruit, so I'm actually just gonna be using lemon to put over the top. So this is just the lemon that I used earlier, and then you can just put the lemon pieces on top, and I think it just makes everything look prettier. I'm all about presentation when it comes to food, and I think little touches like this make a huge difference, because for me, eating is not only about taste, but it's a visual experience too. And why not just take a little extra time just to make something look nice? I feel like you just have more fun when you're eating. And speaking of fun when you're eating, since I love dill so much, I'm just gonna add a little bit more over the top. Why does it have to smell so good? Oh, it just smells so good, okay. These are the salmon stuffed avocados. They are a great lunch or light dinner option and they're super yummy. So if you guys make any of these recipes yourself, I wanna see your photos. So be sure to send them on Twitter and Instagram. And if you wanna see past episodes of Ingrid Dishes, you can just click over here and watch them. And be sure you subscribe to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide so you can see even more of my favorite recipes and have lots and lots of fun with me cooking in my kitchen. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having an awesome day. Bye.